the point is basically we want a yard first of all we've been living in apartments and condos and it, it would be, just be so nice to have extra little space outside that we can actually be outside in um, <clears throat> we also say that knowing that we have a patio that we do not use so I'm like oh is that really a legit reason but yes having our own yard would be wonderful just having that space to be outside and now that we have grace having her be able to like run around and get the energy out is such a big deal and would be so lovely so the yard is definitely a big part of it I think the most exciting thing was meeting you guys and finally going and seeing houses for the first time because I was looking like we had talked about buying a house like three years ago and so it was always like, this is what we want to do. And I was just the online sleuth of like trying to find places. Um, and not in the point where we were like ready to even get pre-approved for the longest time. So like the moment we got pre-approved and we met with you guys and we were ready to go was exciting to actually be making steps towards that. Well, I, I can answer the other part of the question, the scariest part, which I think, mm -hmm. I think um, looking at last year, about a year ago when the pandemic started up, um, just over a year ago at this point, um, we, were, we had our, our down payment and it was, we've been saving up for a few years now um, and I was really worried. Oh, I know it was scary. I think the scariest part was making the offer because it was like, <laughs> how much money can we actually put down and is this all going to work out and that whole process. And also with the current market being the way it is, it was like we were offering so much more than what was listed. It was like, is this going to be worth it? What if it's not worth it in like six months or a year? Um, so that was definitely scary, but at the same time, it's a huge investment, but it's also going to be our home and that's such a cool and exciting thing. So it was a step worth taking, for sure. When did you know Roseanne was the house you Was there a moment? Oh, we're having an accident. Let's hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, we're back. Right. Round two. Well, when they accepted the offer. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> no, I think we, we had a conversation. Uh, it was like, what, what is the, you know, the maximum? Since we were in a counterbidding kind of war, what's the maximum uh, we're willing to offer, basically? And then it got accepted, and that was, so that was it. Because we weren't even the highest offer, so we're like, that means, you know, it's probably meant to be. This is a, it's a good sign. Mm -hmm. um, we felt good about it. Basically, <laughs> right at the end. Because we, we, we didn't have um, reservations about the house itself. Um, but up until, up until that point, we were um, just unsure mm -hmm. what was going to happen because we had a feeling we wouldn't be the highest bid. And it was only the second house we actually toured. And so it, for me, I was very much like, well, what if we put our offer in? Like, we go really strong with our offer and we get accepted. Like, what if we miss something? What if there's something else out there that would have been better? So I had that fear and concern. So when we ended up getting the offer accepted, I was like, oh, all right, must be, must be the way. It must be the, <laughs> meant to be in that way. But also I would say that when we were touring, I think by the time, like once we enter, you enter into the room and it's like kind of the family room, living area, and then you see all the way through to the back and you can see like through the kitchen area, all the way back and it was just a very open floor plan and I really liked that. So I think by the time I walked straight to the kitchen and saw it at the backyard, I was like, all right, we should offer on this. <laughs> and as we were going through, like we went and saw all the bedrooms and came out and I remember turning to James and being like, Let's, let's put an offer in on this one. So that was definitely the moment for me of like, this could be real without getting my hopes up too much for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I say if they're looking, trust your realtor. I think your realtor knows what they're doing and knows what's a good deal and what's not. And if you have a good relationship with them, uh, they know what you are looking for and what you need. Uh, so that's big, having trust with your realtor. I think it's important. How is it like working with the property guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. I think we've enjoyed it a lot. You guys are fun to work with. Uh, yeah, no, it's been great. We appreciate Glenn's um, ex like cunning real estate skills. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. and, and you, Frederick, we think uh, you're a very unassuming and very humble person. We, we love working with both of you. Mm -hmm. How about you, Grace? What do you think? Do you like the property, guys? <laughs>